Hey, so uh, with my inability to edit video, uh, I thought I might seize this opportunity. Uh, so my sister car, uh, her car, she went to start it and suddenly psh, steam, fluid, ah, disaster, catastrophe. Uh, so we drove all the way to her to help her out, see if she see if she needed a ride in case the AAA uh, for when the AAA truck get here gets here, so she wouldn't be stranded. And uh, we come over here and we see something very peculiar. Uh, Dad, if you could help me out with this wonderful visual aid, and sister, if you could shine the light. So what we have here, is, this is my dad. Say hi. Hello. So what we have here is a radiator hose going from the engine to the radiator. And if you haven't noticed, it's not being very efficient in its hosishness. It's got this big ass hole in it, and that was the problem. So if we can look over here, some light, s'il vous plaît. So we look over here, here is the uh, 1.6 liter engine of a Honda Civic, and the radiator hose goes from here, the engine, all the way here to the radiator. And it kind of exploded, which got the fluid everywhere and kind of a disaster. But instead of needing to being towed all the way back home, what we have is a handy dandy replacement. So we have this hose right here, which is a perfect fit. Look at that. And how much did this hose cost? How much did you pay for it? How much did you pay for it, sis? Uh, that plus the fluid, like $42. So $42 to replace... Oh, and a gas additive. Well, forget the gas additive. All so right, let's say cool. about $40 for replacement radiator hose plus fluid for the radiator. Not that bad. And it goes on really simple like this. So there's these metal clips that sort of just hold it in place. And it's not that hard. It just goes, clips right back onto the engine. Not hard at all. You just have to make sure that it passes the edge of the pipe in here. Yeah. So you touch it in here, just push it in. So make it's, sure it's nice so it's, and snug. Yeah, it's actually, the clamp has to be over the hose right onto the metal. Otherwise, if, if it can slip off, then it's gonna, it's gonna come right off. So yeah. So we'll make sure it's tugging and it's right there. Yeah. And this is a, and this is, I mean, even though it's all in the engine bay and all oh, the radiator and ooh, it's about as difficult to repair as, well, <laughs> basically hooking up a washing machine. It's not that hard. It's actually easier than a washing machine. It is easier. We've done that. Yeah. So okay, it's, and this goes over the metal. You have to make sure push the push the rubber down and make sure it's when you're putting the clamp in. Yep. It is over the mouth of the metal. Actually, you're clamping down the rubber right onto the metal, and you're gonna push it in right there. Yep. Nice. And this is you don't want to have you don't have to want to have a big kink in here. Yeah. You're just gonna get this. You may have to really push it and wedge it in. No one likes getting kinky in an engine bay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave that one alone. You may have to push this out all the way out, and then get it back in after you push the secure it in. Yep. Good. Wedge it in, go all the way up to the end, to the end. Yeah, right all the way into the end. And then when you're looking at this, at least you have a nice straight hose in here. Well, straight-ish. It's not an exact science, but the basic idea is you just want to be able to reconnect the proper, reconnect the hose from the engine bay to the engine, uh, to the uh, radiator, from the engine to the radiator. And then actually what you have here is that you just go ahead and you take that metal clampy ring and you put it right back, right back over there. <laughs> the joys of not being able to edit, folks. You get what you get. It's not a difficult process, but it's a process. Right, right there. There you go. So you push down here, the edge is right in here. That's it. And it's nice and secure. Now all you gotta do is uh, connect that fluid uh, pipe back to it with a nice little plastic clamp that it has. Just sits right Just sort of clips way. right in. Yeah, put your radiator. Hold on, don't we need to fill it up with more fluid? Well, I need to check and see what's left there in here, we go. if there's anything in here. If. So we put Can we the... have some light in here to see if there's anything in here left? How's that? It's pretty much empty. Pretty much empty. So we're gonna pour some in here first and then we're gonna fill the reservoir. So when you have, so when all the fluids come out of the radiator, first thing you want to do is you want to prime the radiator itself with some fluid before filling up the reservoir. That'll make it so it's not running dry while the fluid's being pressurized into it. So, if we can get the plastic safety devices off. Hold on, Dad, it's not that hard. It is, it is, it is, it's it not is. hard. You just gotta turn and twist. All these caps, since they're very cost, since they're fairly caustic chemicals, have uh, safety devices on them, so they can't be opened by accident and, per say, perhaps spill all over your trunk. That would be bad. Actually, some of it's already on my fingers. And Do we have a, 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 a 
funnel in there at all? Uh, no, I don't think we have a funnel. You want to... Uh, it's okay. Dad's got a steady hand in here. So he's just pouring it in. Yeah, see, any liquid that's neon green like that, probably not a good idea to mess around with. Hence why I don't drink Mountain Dew. So we fill up the radiator with it. Can you go start your engine? I'll hold the lights, sis. You go start the engine. There we go. It's gonna get a bit loud, but that's okay. Well, hold on. Get this. Hold on. We gotta get the all the melty bits off of the engine. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, all right on the edge of the fan thing there, there is a uh, bit of the fluid that spilled out over when the yes. engine overflowed. It's uh, gonna stink for a while. Yeah, it's gonna smell for a little bit as it burns away. What? Tell her when, Dad. Go ahead, start it up. Start it up. So what we're doing is we're running the engine so the fluid can get moving through the system. And even though this is a 92 Civic, the process for doing this should be the same for just about any car. So, um, we about done there, Chief? Yeah. All right, so should I tell her to shut up the engine, or? All right. So, my dad's now filling up the reservoir, and while he's doing that, let me explain what a radiator does for the car. So, there we go. Move away a bit. So, um... Like your circulatory system in your body helps you cool down when you're feeling hot or you have a lot of high temperature, the uh, radiator does a similar feature. Uh, what it does is it takes the heat from the engine, transfers it into the coolant, which, and I'm hoping I'm getting this right because I'll lose all my car credit if I don't. Um, <laughs> it transfers the heat into the coolant, and then through the coolant, what it does is it goes into the radiator. And the radiator is basically a giant heat sink. If you know about computers, it's effectively the same as a heat sink on your CPU. It serves as a fu it serves as function cooling down the fluids in your car. Let go of my ponytail, you. <laughs> so you can stand in front of the headlights and do it now. It's okay. I'm good. Yeah, you know what? Here. Um, I need to add some more water here. So looks like it needs more fluid. Give him this. You keep it. You keep this, I'm gonna keep the other one. I, I got the headlights. Okay. I'm good. Here, take that. <laughs> so that's the br that's the basics of it. It's it's basically what keeps your car cool. So if you ever see your temperature shoot up, you're probably low on fluid in your radiator. Um, if you have high, t if your temperature gauge shoots up, run the heater in your car because uh, what it does is that you're actually drawing heat straight from the engine when you're running the heater. So there's your uh, there's a bit of an automotive tip for you. Uh, so looks like this not being able to edit video isn't turning out too bad. Uh, but I'll see you next time. You're gonna have you're gonna have some over just bubble up and go down.